lot of you have been asking me about my take on forced positivity and burnout on YouTube. Forced positivity and burnout are not YouTube phenomena. Forced positivity is basically any phenomena where you work with the general public where nobody really cares or wants to hear about you complaining about what's going on in your personal life. When I worked at the big law firm, I always told myself that the most disingenuous question anyone is gonna ask you in a day is, how's it going? Because unless your answer is, great, you, nobody cares and nobody's listening to the answer. And in that context, forced positivity basically exists in any context where you're dealing with the general public, where you don't want to come off as a jerk or someone who's perpetually depressed. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, you don't walk very fast, do you? It's the same thing on YouTube. When people tune into your channel, they're not tuning in so they can hear you complain about the same problems they're having in their life. I mean, unless that's what your brand is, like Howard Stern or uh, somebody who complains on YouTube. I don't follow any of those channels. Come on, Barney, let's go. So in between where I last left off, I lost my drone. I was trying to get some video of the beautiful foliage on a church. I was just lifting it off the ground, capturing video of the vines on the side of the church, which were changing color. The second it got slightly above the church, the side wind blew it a little far from my iPhone. I lost connection and then it just drifted off. Don't know where it went. Now, the good news is that I haven't, just in time, I have not received a phone call. My telephone number is written on the drone as the law requires. So I haven't received a phone call and it's been four hours, which luckily means at the very least nobody was hurt. But the moment I saw it drifting away, it was like utter terror. Like, I don't know what's going to happen with this. It was the small drone, um, but uh, it's gone. So thank goodness nobody's hurt. If somebody calls me to tell me they found it, all the better. But um, so that sucks. And on the topic of forced positivity, that's the thing. You know, you can complain to your friends and you can vent to your family, but in the real world, nobody wants to hear anybody complain. And forced positivity is not a YouTube phenomenon. It is life. When you're out in the streets, you have to smile at strangers. You have to smile at people behind the cashier. How you doing? You have to smile at karate boys who randomly run out from corners. I mean, and it's difficult in real life and it's difficult everywhere but that's what you have to do that's what it means to live in a civil society and there's something to be said about not dwelling and walking around with a frown on your face because being unhappy and complaining all the time and walking around with a frown on your face doesn't make you happier there's a science behind smiling making you happier and I can tell you that you know when I'm in a bad mood I notice that everybody around me seems to be jerks and when I'm in a good mood everybody around me seems to be nice and uh, it's not clear which is the cause of what but being in a bad mood and cranky and perpetually looking for something to complain about doesn't make people happier doesn't make the person happier and it certainly doesn't make the people surrounding them happier. Yesterday I started the video on forced positivity. Today is a good example and nobody would want to have seen what the first part of this day looked like from a parenting perspective. Were you guys behaving properly this morning? I was, I wasn't at home. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I think no. everyone's feeling better after a Everyone had a nap? Everyone had a little I nap? Didn't. I didn't. I had a little I did too. Did you have a sleep? And do you yeah, feel better? He had a big sleep. Do you feel better? Are you gonna scream and headbutt mom again? No. Okay. And that kid there, the one in the back, lost my GoPro. It's been a very bad week for techno. Kid lost your I GoPro. gave it to Ethan. He was playing with it, and then that's disappeared now. Oh come on! I'm blaming the kid. I know I gave it to him. I did. He was the last one to have it. I swear to it. Ethan, look at him. Look at him. Go look at him for a second. Ethan, did you lose my GoPro? Yes. Okay. Well, I need you to find it. I need you to find it. Are we there yet? Just a little longer. Are we there yet? Just a little longer. 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 Yeah, we're there. We're there. Okay, it's right there. Seriously, the, no parking. the inflatable mattress is still open. Good. Let's get oh this day God. started! Everybody look happy. Nobody wants to see unhappy children in videos. We see our pumpkin. We see our pumpkin. <laughs> so long. Mais le train ne, ne bouge pas en fait. Il est là comme décoration. Real time translation. He just said the train doesn't move. We can walk into the maze and we're going to see weird things. Okay. Inside the maze, there were. Oh no, that's a video. Oh, traduction. Bonjour tout le monde. <laughs> Hello everybody. Votre mission, ça va être Our mission. De, de, de trouver qui to a commis find. le crime. Parce que Who je committed me suis the crime? Voler. What did he say? No way. No way. Okay. See you later. 
That is a beautiful shot right there. Nice lighting, nice shadow, magnificent. This person's been talking to us for 10 minutes and I don't know who she is. I'm joking, she, she's an actress that is in the corn maze entertaining the children. Okay, okay, What do you keep saying? No. Why? <laughs> you know, when I go through cornfield mazes, I like to hear the flute. What are the chat? Oh god, I just stepped in something disgusting. Oh god! Do you speak French or English? You know what? Si vous parlez en anglais, ça sera moins à traduire lorsque je fais mon film. Parfait. What are you looking for? What did you hear about this? What are you looking for? Very philosophical questions. Guys, what did I tell you about talking to strangers in cornfields? <laughs> this is disease. Is that poor? It's sad. I need your help. Give me five. Promise me, you will help me yeah. to save the yeah. crops. Yeah, you're not sure. Not, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Children, what did I talk to you about talking to Siamese twins in cornfields? Oh. Um, are you scared? Oh, oh, that's oh no, 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 no. Children, what did I tell you about talking to witches in cornfields? Le mien aussi! Mm-hmm. Lots of people on the tractor. Mm-hmm. Yes? Laughing. Laughing? We're going. We are uh, picking the pumpkins. There's a big fat pumpkin. I'm a coming! What's that? All right, so there you have it. The thing about forced positivity, to bring it back to the beginning, nobody wants to hear people complain. Everybody understands that there are bad days and you unfortunately just have to take a deep breath and suck it up through the bad days and the bad moments in the hopes that it gets better because generally speaking it does. Yeah. Tractor. The tractor's coming. Let's go. Let's go, run! Oh, wait for me! Tractor's coming! Running through the running through this field like a maniac! He's a maniac, maniac! Oh that's for sure! Ah. Oh gosh! out like share subscribe hit the notification bell for many a more beautiful sunsets into a day this is like crazy beautiful Ending the video is stop recording and turn. Oh, right.